All right, it's time to divvy up my kingdom. Look, I'm looking for a ballpark number of how much you love me. There is no number, Bob. What? Are you saying you don't love me? Be gone! Away from my sight! Don't worry, Father. I'll be back later in the story as a queen with an army to defend my love for you. But my king! Kent, you better stay out of this. I'm just saying, I don't think this is your best idea. Oh, I don't think this is my best idea. Oh, yeah? You're done. What? That's crazy. I'm just At the same time, in another castle... And I, Edgar, will want to kill my dad. Oh! <gasps> By the gods, this cannot be true. I've poured my blood and my sweat my tears into this youth. I cannot accept betrayal. Edgar, is what Edmund says to be true? Get out! No, father. Do not worry. I'll be back later in the story as a homeless guy. I'll be back, though. Shortly after, in another different castle, my king, it is I, your humble servant, but with a disguise. Mm. Greetings, my liege, your nanko. And hello to all of you watching at home as well. Hi. What is this company you have brought with you? Is the entire army here? Send them out at once. How dare my own daughter speak to me in such a way? I will not tolerate this kind of behavior. Boys, we're leaving. I should probably follow. Ah, me too. Now for pretty much the only scene outside of a castle. My king, we must find shelter! Hey, you fool! I will never return to my daughter's wretched kingdom! Not in lightning! Not in death! Not even if the gods smite me down when I face those betrayers! This storm is nothing, I say, against the wrath of my own king! Nothing! Hey, king, let's get you some shelter. Yes, please, I'm very cold, thank you. Okay, back to another castle. Bring him in. Oh my god! Oh. Sit down! Cornwall! Regan! A main servant! What's the meaning of this? Oh, naive Gloucester. You have helped the banished king behind our backs, you traitor. And now you shall pay. <laughs> Jumping back to Leah. How many times do I have to tell you, Father? You mustn't be afraid. I bear towards you no ill will. In fact, my soldiers are fighting this instant, trying to save you. Ma'am, I come bearing news. What? We, uh, we have lost the battle. No way. You know what, Father? Now might be a good time to be afraid. And now for the final scene. Back at another castle. Is this true, Edmund? Are you really a traitor? Nonsense. And just to prove how innocent and caring I am, I'll challenge anyone who doesn't believe me to a fight to the death. I accept your challenge. Fine. Have at me. Oh. Oh. oh, my brother. It is a sad day indeed, but let us end this night with no more than one meaningless death. Any more than that, well, it would have to be a pretty big coincidence for so many characters to die in such a short time. Right? 
My lord! Got a ruined dragon! They're both dead! Yes. Oh my god! Not only are my two evil daughters dead, but the one I like! The perfect and docile Cordelia! No! I'm dying too, so someone else can live. You'll live half born most. He that a young shall never see so much, nor live so long. Whatever the hell that's supposed to mean. The end.